Based on the affidavit, I do believe Fotis was involved in Jennifer's disappearance and most likely her homicide. There is a plethora of red flags in this case. This is kind of, in a way, a detective's dream. Between 8.05 a.m. and 10.25 a.m., there was a crime and then a cleanup. The real theme behind this investigation is blood, blood, blood. You have blood found in the garage. You have blood found on the interior and exterior of her vehicle. Based on the amount of blood, it's highly unlikely that she's still alive. I believe in Fotis's head, he thought this was the perfect crime. What he's gonna find out very quickly is he's not as smart as he thinks. I think that there's every chance Fotos Dulos is gonna walk away from this a free man. It's a very circumstantial case. There's not enough here for a conviction. They don't have a body, so they can't conclusively say there was a murder. They can't say if it was a shooting or a stabbing. Based on everything I know in my 30 years of working cases very similar to this, I don't believe that Jennifer Dulos is alive. Everyone is considered not guilty until proven guilty. If this were Christmas morning, I'd be saying I waited all these months for this paltry gift. We've pled not guilty and we look forward to a full day in court. So far, all we've heard is that there are minuscule amounts of blood. It's shocking, frankly, if there was a bloody body in that vehicle, that there's not a lot of blood evidence. The criminologist in me knows, based on the facts we've seen so far, this is a case that's not only prosecutable, but winnable. Jennifer very well may still be alive. And you have to say, just because there's smoke, there's no fire. Well, joining me now alongside Nancy Grace and Dr. Casey Jordan is high-profile defense attorney Steve Greenberg, whose clients include R. Kelly, and private investigator and star of Investigation Discovery's Breaking Homicide, Derek Lavasser. Uh, let's look at this from the defense side of things. There's blood in a lot of places here. Is there enough blood to reliably get something that you can take a sample from, make decisions about with scientific rigor? Well, they've gotten some blood and they've gotten some DNA. The blood in the garage doesn't concern me so much. There's not this massive amount of uh, blood splatter. There, there's a little bit of blood that they found in the garage. Greenberg, that's completely wrong. It's not just a little bit of blood in the garage. And we haven't even talked about her vineyard vine shirt soaked in blood. Blood, blood, blood in 30 different receptacles. I have there to was not, not be there worried was not, Nancy, about I'm that not, much blood. Nancy, thank God you're, you're not gonna be on a jury with that I would have because <laughs> You're not listening to the evidence. There's not I wouldn't 30. Want to sit on a jury that there's you would not have. 30 different receptacles uh, with garbage in it. There's not blood everywhere. The fact that someone's blood's in their oh, own garage okay. is not a smoking gun. The blood that's a little bit problematic here is what's found in the Tacoma, the truck that he borrows from the employee, and if that comes back, is Jennifer's blood because there's not really an explanation for that. Still, you can't say what happened, and that's always a problem for the prosecution because jurors wanna to be told a story. They wanna to be told this is what occurred in that garage. Steve's saying that the jury's gonna want a story, right? And there's a lack of blood, as you pointed out, in the, in the garage. Well, the story is this, it was cleaned up. They did luminol testing, they probably found cleaning agents, they saw that there were some type of items used to clean up that area, and yet they didn't find them. What the prosecution will then show that Fotis Dulos and Michelle Traconis were up in Hartford. They recovered the bags that they disposed, and in those bags were the mops and towels and rags that would have been used to clean up that blood. Well, as Dr. Casey pointed out, the importance of Michelle Traconis being a linchpin, if she rolls on him, She's rolling. then that story starts to get yeah. filled in, yes. right? Right, right. If she, if she rolls, he's got, he's got big problems. 